In this session, we are discussing one example on matrix chain multiplication. In the previous video, we have discussed what is a matrix chain multiplication, how to calculate the complexity and all. It is my humble request to you to please watch the previous video so that you can get the context. So, we discussed that the productions of multiplications like this that is m1 into m2 into dot 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 into mr this is known as matrix chain multiplication and if we go for multiplying a and b and if you want to keep the product in c like this and if a is having a size of m by n and b is having a size of n by p then the resultant matrix will be always will be having the size of m by p and the complexity that is the number of multiplications required will be m into n into p. So, that is our complexity we are finding this particular complexity. Okay. Now, see let me go for the respective example. So, please remember this is our matrix in multiplication and another thing is that this is our complexity we shall have to use them in our uh, example also. Okay given matrices are m1, m2, m3, m4. So, they are having the sizes like 100 by 1, 1 by 100, 100 by 1, 1 by 100 respectively. There are mainly 5 ways to compute m1 into m2 into m3 into m4 and the optimal cost will be 10,200, least cost will be 201 and the worst cost will be 10,20,000. Cost means the number of multiplications or the complexity. Okay. Now, let me go for the 5 different strategies. Strategy number 1, resultant matrix will be R1234 having the size 100 comma 100. So, let us suppose we will be doing the multiplication this one at first and then this one and then we shall go for the final multiplication. So, if you if you multiply 101 and 1, 100. So, that means the resultant matrix will be R, R stands for the resultant matrix 1, 2. So, 100 will be coming and 100 will be coming. And here in this case, the resultant matrix will be R, 3, 4. So, 100 will be coming and that 100 will be coming like this. Okay. So, how many multiplications did I do? So, 100 into 1 into 100. Here, how many multiplications? 100 into 1 into 100. And here, how many multiplications? That is 100 into 100 into 100. So, if you go on doing it is 10 lakhs 20,000. So, that is the worst case. There is a maximum number of multiplications required for this particular case study. Now, strategy number 2. Strategy number 2 will produce the resultant matrix R1234 having size 100 by 100. So, now what I am doing at first I shall be doing multiplication with this. Then the resultant matrix will be obtained with this M3 will get multiplied and then I shall get the resultant matrix R123 then M4 will be multiplied on that. Now, if you just go on calculating the complexity is very simple. Its complexity will be 100 into 1 into 100. So, this one. So, its complexity will be 100 into 100 into 1. So, this one and the final matrix will have the complexity 100 into 1 into 100. So, this one. So, it is 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 I am getting 30,000 number of multiplications and that is the respective complexity. Strategy number 3 resultant matrix will be having the uh, dimension like this. So, here what, what we are doing? We are doing the multiplication between M2 and M1 at first and then with that I shall go for M4 and at last I shall go for M3. So, if you do the multiplication resultant matrix, uh, matrix will be R21 1, 1 comma 1 and then I shall go for this M4 1 and 1 are matching. So, that means the multiplications are allowed and in this way I am getting this resultant matrix and this is my respective computational complexity. Similarly, I can go for strategy number 4 and here we are doing M2, M1 multiplication at first with this with this resultant matrix. With this resultant matrix, I shall go for M4 and then M3 will be coming at the last. So, now this is my M21. I am getting this M21. I think it is better if I write this one as R to give the parity. So, R21 that is M4 will be coming and then with this uh, resultant matrix M3 will be coming for multiplication. So, this is my uh, way to get the multiplications and this is my complexity. So, here the complexity is 1 into 100 into 1. 
1 into 100 into 1. So, that is the this one and then I shall go for this. So, 1 into 1 into 100. So, that is this one. Then I shall go for this and that is 1 into 100 into 1. So, 1 into 100 into 1. So, it is 100, 100, 100. It will be 300. Similarly, the least complexity, whatever you can require will be like this. So, what we are doing? We are doing the multiplication between M2 and M1 and M4 and M3. So, what is happening here? The resultant matrix will be R2111. So, resultant matrix here it will be resultant matrix will be R4311. So, now if you calculate the complexities, it is 1 into 100 into 1. So, this one, 1 into 100 into 1. So, this one and 1 into 1 into 1. So, this one. So, ultimately you are getting 201 number of comp uh, multiplications and that is the complexity. So, you see the worst case is this one and the optimal is this one and the best case is this one. So, in this way if such question come to calculate the computational complexity, you can proceed in this way. So, I have demonstrated all the five different ways in which you can do the multiplications and where the complexities will be ranging from maximum to minimum. So, I think you are getting this logic. Thanks for watching this video.